Get out of that dress. Be out of that oh, dress when they meet Jim West. Buffalo Soldier. Look, it's like I told ya. Woo! Welcome. <laughs> Yo, what the hell is up? Welcome, Welcome to the everybody. Sausage Boys podcast. This is the South Coast Poster Child, Jackson Grant, your Ooh. host. Oh. Oh, there we go. Sound, sound a there we go. There we go. All right. As always, we have in the hot seat uh, your, your other host. What's good? It the is Terry Crews of Sydney. <laughs> what is good? It's the Terry Crews of Sydney, aka the Steamroller, aka. Um, we sound it. Can those boys go up? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. I'm here. There I'm here. Go. Nice. There we go. Yeah, we're uh, here. Ooh. Yeah, what's been happening, baby boy? You're in fresh from a flight. I'm a bit wired. I'm a bit on edge. Tell me about way. it. I've had some coffee. Yeah. I don't have coffee often. Often. On the plane? Uh, no, I know this morning. But um, and it's still kicking in. Still kicking in. Dang, I'm get I get jittery. That's in nice. A, in a, in a good right. way. We can use that yeah, energy. Really, I think I we'll need that, that energy. energy going into this uh this great episode. Yes, I think we will because we have got someone um very energetic. One of our one of our favorite yeah. guests of all time. Yes, the the absolutely hilarious Lachlan McAllister. <laughs> Lockie Mac Yay. is in the building. What's the what's some um, aliases you give yourself? Um, just lucky. I got lucky Mac from him. That's about it. Just spell my name wrong a lot. What about the Irish? No, we don't. No, I, I do. I oh, you, I spell my name wrong all the time. You so spell you your own name oh, wrong. Yeah. It's not with an O. Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying not to give it away, yeah. It's okay, I, don't, I don't know who you're giving away from. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what, <laughs> what yeah, no, I should be fine, yeah. Who are you trying to hide it from? Just yeah. the world, man. What can't Discord, handle me. What Discord, um, <laughs> what racist Discord um, <laughs> you uh, uh, sympath- uh, with, a, with a black people sympathizers? Yeah, yeah, you don't want your... You don't want your... This yeah, is they're ruining they're my online happy. career right now. Yeah, you don't want your real life racist friends knowing <laughs> that you're actually funny. <laughs> <laughs> you're not actually racist. Um, yeah. Yeah, dog. My legs are showing a little bit. I think they've it's been nice. showing for a few hours. Yeah? It's a nice look show I'm getting the pins out. The new the up legs. What's that? Are you mean further up your legs? Yeah, having having the having the short shorts going on. Does it feel good? It feels kinda nice. Anyone any notice any looks? Probably getting a few looks. Yeah? Probably I'm getting a few looks. That's nice. Yeah, it's a nice thing. It's a nice one. It does low key, key feel nice. Chuck on a pair of shorts, wear them out. Yeah, getting the what are they they call them the Hoochie Daddy shorts. <laughs> they call those the Hoochie yeah, Daddy yeah, shorts. They call them the Hoochie Daddy shorts. Do you have any the, Hoochie the Daddies? Who, who's, who's your daddy shorts? Yeah, yeah. Do you know? <laughs> uh, I can't wear shorts. I love shorts. I can't wear them just because of my fucking legs. What's wrong really? with your legs? They're super... Sca- they're so <laughs> pale. <laughs> They've got Can we see? Yeah, 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 sure. I have swastika sticker tattoos all over. Okay, yeah, he's thin. got uh, yeah. multiple uh We do have similar tattoos. legs, though. Look yeah. at the build. No, yeah, yours is solid. Yours are like double the fucking. What are you talking? Solid. They're pretty solid. What do you mean? They're nice legs, look dude. At the calves. There's a nice amount of calves. I'm, st- yeah, I'm, I'm flexing right now. Boys have no leg expectations, dude. Yeah. Uh when it's real, when they're real thin, and then they like, they like shoot. They, I walk like retard as well. So they go like <laughs> that, <and> they go <laughs> Wait, how do you walk? Because like I don't know my my knees go in a bit, oh, so I just look weird. Knees going in. What's that I think about? you're paying too much attention to your legs. Maybe. Dude. I yeah. Maybe. Your legs look nice. That's easy coming from you. You got like melanin got, in them got, and shit. Got, They're I nice. Pretty, I got pretty good legs. Look Yours don't glow. Look at these boys. I did learn Can't that recently. for anyone. Recently, I did learn that melanin, you either have it or you don't. I and didn't. Re- I, doesn't. Thought, <laughs> I, th- I thought it was like a spectrum. <laughs> on his, on his uh, hinge yeah, biography. No. <laughs> <laughs> no melanin. Is melanin what he says. free. <laughs> <laughs> but, but correct me if I'm wrong. You guys might know a little yeah. bit better, but you, it's. Kind of like you either have it or you don't. Like I thought it was yeah, it's like almost a like spectrum. Your, it's almost like you're black or you're white. Is <laughs> what do you what do you mean you don't? Well, it's not like that because it's like I thought it was a spectrum. All right, so I thought it was like you're black or you're white or everything in between. Mm. But white is like this base level. It's like a bit of paper, <laughs> and then people with melanin is like a nice drawing on there. Yeah, what's the drawing? Uh, say. I kept on bragging about how it all this coffee and um, now I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's also the thing with having a lot of coffee. You get a bit in your head. Yeah. 
Yeah. Am I sounding? Am I sounding okay? I think yeah, I'm a bit all over. Dude. I you think it's because I don't have the cans on. There we I've go. I've got the um. Yeah, no, it I've sounds. Got my good. headphones. Rest assured. No, but I am sounding good. Um. Yeah, yeah, but I didn't know that. So it's like if you have like a, a black person and a white person, they make a baby, and it's kind of like it can't get. Here, Here we, we go. go. Here we Damn, go. I know, I know. <laughs> Damn. Here we go, folks. Well, I mean, their baby is going to have more melanin than a white person would. But a white per. Here we go. No, can no, a white person... Can I get more melanin? From the sun, right? Can you get more... I don't know. I don't, I don't know why I'm looking at you. <laughs> I don't know why you're looking at me. I'm not... Uh, Karen, you're the expert, expert on melanin. melanin expert. <laughs> uh, I've, I've got no idea about melanin. What is tanning? Is that is that adding melanin? Uh, is melanin something you're just born with? It must be. Because yeah. then they've got melanoma. That'd be a really good name for a stripper. <laughs> for a rapper, I thought. Yeah, melanoma would be really good. A female yeah. rapper would be great. White rapper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, what's up? It's melanoma. <laughs> We've been. Um, my mama, I know her. <laughs> I'm with my boys. We in Oklahoma. <laughs> what did you call your shorts again? Ah, uh, Hoochie Daddy shorts. <laughs> got the Hoochie Daddies on. Yeah, that's nice. The, when I get my Hoochie Daddies on, the girls take theirs off. When I'm when I'm deep into a girl, they never go in soft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. This is just kind of really cool. I can freestyle. Yeah, it is. Um, it's who cool. knew? <laughs> 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 That'd be great. That'd be great. A person of color realizing they have all these specific abilities. <laughs> Like they're able to just, um, they see a police officer and can just run really, really fast. <laughs> it's, almost like a, it's almost like a superpower. They're like, what is going on here? <laughs> what is going on here? Um, they can go on Lachlan. What else? What else would they ab- be yeah, able to yeah. do? <laughs> what else would they be able to do? They have like really good callouts during a movie. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Watch, I have all these cool things to say. <laughs> Damn! Don't go in there. Oh, wait! No, 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 no. What's going on? What's going on here? Couldn't uh, anyone just yell out in a movie? Yeah, anyone could kind of yell out in a movie. Oh, yeah, I've, I've, yelled out, you, <laughs> I've yelled out so many people <laughs> yell out in yeah, all the time. It's, old school. <laughs> it's an old school thing to do. I haven't, I haven't been in a movie where someone's yelled out. Imagine kind of standing up and someone at the back of the room has been yelling the whole time and everyone stands up, the lights come on at the end of the movie. <laughs> like, Wait, that guy's not black. <laughs> What, a, what about a guy who's yelling throughout a movie and the movie end, the lights come on and he does like the bow. <laughs> <laughs> That's the great thing to do. That's yeah. the great thing to do. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> just... Thank you. I want to bring back that guy. Oh, do you know what? He... People are really into hipstery things. Yeah. Movies with professional comedians in the back. How about we introduce that? What like do you mean? You can, you can go and watch, let's say, what's a movie coming out. You can go watch Top Gun. Featuring eight comic or six comics in the back, and they're like riffing over the movie the whole time. So it's like commentary. Yes, a commentary movie. It's like usually a bad movie, or let's say if uh, that silly Morbius that came out, you could go <laughs> watch that with like six comedians, and you like go to Hoyts, and they have like comic movie nights. Yeah, where yeah. there's like six professional comedians. It's billed as that six professional comedians riff over pretty average movies. That'd be good. It'd be really, and they literally have microphones, so you can hear it. You're going in to watch like movies that work, like the new Lion King or something like that. And you just have like six funny boys and you're paying to kind of <laughs> hear their commentary. They're in the back with microphones. You're there with your popcorn and it suddenly becomes a comedy. Like oh, you yeah. go watch Schindler's List with like six <laughs> comics in the back. Yeah. There's something great about that idea. A Jewish guy, think- a Jewish guy's <laughs> in the movie and they're like, I know how they got that role. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? You know what I do. You know what I do with movies. Actually, like I watch them with my housemates. Yeah. And at the beginning of a movie, where because it goes from a funny transition, you don't just turn on a movie and everyone's silent straight away. Yeah, it's when so you get your penis out that they start becoming a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, uh, Jackson, not again. You know how we don't. Yeah, I'm going to say a word for every <laughs> inch your penis. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, we go from the banter into watching the movie, mm. and I'm, I'll as the movie's going. I might throw out a joke that's happening during the thing. Nice. Like, and it's funny. Like, my roommates all crack up. It's great. We all have a laugh together. Yeah. 
<laughs> and then it gets to a point where I haven't let go of that first laugh. <laughs> so I'm doing it throughout like the first 15 minutes, 20 minutes of the movie. And it's just getting nothing. And I realize I'm just being an annoying. <laughs> <laughs> and every time I kind of like end up just doing one, it just strikes a nerve in me, gets nothing. <laughs> and I kind of sit there for the next hour and a half watching this movie. I'm not even enjoying it anymore. <laughs> I'm just like, I'll... Yeah, yeah. How many are you making? Like, you're talking about a 15 minute period. Again, the first five minutes is appropriate to kind of crack some jokes. He would say that? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, would, I, would, I, would say that. I would say that. It's fine. Sorry, yeah. people. The first five minutes are for jokes. He always leaves after the first five minutes to go smoke a blunt. <laughs> <laughs> first five minutes, I arrive 45 minutes after it started. <laughs> and I'll get, Wait, hold on. We're here. We're here. Hold it up. Wind it back. Who's this guy? Hey, Who's this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Who this white boy? <laughs> you walk into the cinemas 45 minutes late. What the fuck is this? Man, I don't oh, know you. I don't know this guy. Oh, hell no. Why he face all red? What's going on here? Oh, he better not jump off that cliff. He better not jump off that cliff. Hey, yo, where, where the list? Where the list at? Just getting their name wrong. Not even calling them by their character name yo, either. What's Tom Cruise up to now? <laughs> Yo, Tom Cruise, you best know not to mess with that girl. She ain't, she ain't nothing but bad news. Tim Cruise, what are you doing in that plane? <laughs> <laughs> the Tim Cruise is great. Tim the, Cruise. The Tim Cruise is really great. Getting the name wrong is probably... It just adds so much. Wouldn't it be the best thing in the world, meeting a famous per- person? Oh, my gosh. Be like Tim Cruise. I'm the biggest fan. Tim. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's so good. Yeah. You get someone like super vain, like Tom Cruise probably loves hearing his name. If you just get it wrong, yeah, he would fucking hate it. I think he'd diffuse it straight away. Maybe. It's so intense. Yes. Yeah, who well. would who would the best person you know, be to kind of? It's just like a perfect troll. Tim Cruise is great. Yo, Tim Cruise. <laughs> Tim Cruise. <laughs> um, do you think? Can you can you just get away with it? Or like, are people going to tell you to shut up? In Dom, a Dom, if someone's just saying Dom Hanks. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Uh, Yo, Tom Banks. No, no. It's, it's something really specific. It's getting like a specific thing wrong. I reckon it would work well on a, like a woman. Oh, it would. It would. What do you call it? Like Anna, Anna Hathaway or something like that? Yo, Anna Hathaway. No, that's just kind of the same thing. Did you, uh, did you ever think in a movie theater you were going to like get some? Do you know what I mean? I've never been... I was never cool that young. Yeah, I've never been to a movie with a woman. (laughs) (laughs) You haven't? No. Really? No. What about in like a group of people? Have there there ever been a woman there? No, just the boys. You've never been to a movie alone with a woman? I've I've been to like six movies. What? Yeah. What were they? I just don't go that much. I think the last movie I went to was... I went to Total Recall last year and then probably three... I went to Cockblockers before that. What's Cockblockers? I never Remember that, that John Cena movie? Oh, dang. Did you do that ironically? I just got drunk with my friends and we all Great. went. And started yelling out. That was fun. Like you were, you were yelling out? Yeah. Where'd you go see it? Um, Like event somewhere. I don't know. This was years ago. This was like 2019. Is this prime time as well? Like there's going to be kids or whatever in the theater? This was a night... It was at like 10 o'clock. Oh, that's fine. Because yeah. I was going to say, it's something really funny about going to like a six o'clock showing of a kid's movie and it's being really sexual <laughs> with you. With you. <laughs> yeah, she has nice breasts. I have an erection seeing her. <laughs> Your kids are going to know what that means soon. It's okay, kids. I really uh, think you could kind of get away with murder in a movie theater. Getting sexual in a, at a kid's movie. Yeah. With Who's going to stop you? Who's going to stop you? Yeah. And I like the idea of just being right on the line for being a bit sexual. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You know what would be great? Like, like anyone else hard? <laughs> <laughs> Stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? Like you can't kind of really pinpoint them being sexual. Big man. What about like... I a- know you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. like what about like a black pedophile at a kid's movie? <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn you guys! <laughs> what about doing Just the three PM show in a fucking Paw Patrol? <laughs> a black pedophile is kind of very funny. Yeah, and he has all the same kind of yeah. stereotype characteristics, but he's a pedophile. <laughs> yeah, I like kids. I love the idea. fine as hell. I love the idea of um, you know, you buy your seat beforehand, so it's like a particular seat. Damn, little mama, literally, little mama, <laughs> <laughs> you nine. <laughs> Um, you buy your, you buy yeah, your. Seat. You know how you buy like a specific seat beforehand. I really like the idea of someone going to like a lot of effort 
to like buy a big popcorn box to like put a hole in the bottom. Oh my god! They put yeah. their penis in it, and then they end up with no one sitting next to them. <laughs> and they're like, "Well, what can I do? I can't just lift it up now. You know what I mean? I've kind of got to sit here through the whole movie <laughs> with my penis in the popcorn." <laughs> what is that scenario though? They're expecting someone to sit next to them, and, and they're like, "Do you want some popcorn?" Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, let's just, go to sorry, just eating like popcorn around your hard dick. <laughs> <laughs> Would that be a good way to pleasure yourself? You look down and there's like half of it gone, and you're like, "You having some too, little man?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, he eating as well. <laughs> I didn't know this was a this was a duo. <laughs> uh, I should have got the jumbo. <laughs> <laughs> what about it just not working? What about I'm sure, a guy with I'm sure a really small penis? Yeah, I'm sure it actually <laughs> yeah, doesn't, it work. doesn't work. Like you have a really small penis and they just never kind of touch it. You know what you need is like, you need to buy like a Snickers bar yeah. and then oh. eat it and then just wrap it back up. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. You want a Snickers and it's just uh, the wrappers right there. Oh, dang. It's so funny. Just melted chocolate over you, all over your dick. <laughs> Have you done anything like that? Anything nah. sexual with the boys? No. Nah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I went to an all boys boarding school. I've done like just but normal not a, shit. Not at a movie theater. No, no. What's the most sexual thing you've done with the boys? Um, I remember my friend. I went out with my friend, a couple of friends. Uh, a couple of them had girlfriends. Yeah. And one of them, I didn't like his girlfriend, so I started making out with him in front of his girlfriend. I thought that was oh, funny. You made out with a dude. I was like, we were, like kissing each other, like not like not in a gay way, you know. <laughs> You didn't like his girlfriend. I so like you keep on him. changing. It. You're like, oh yeah, no, we're kissing each other. We won't make it out. <laughs> we're kissing yeah. each other, but not in a gay way. Yeah, no. just like you know, on the cheek and stuff. <laughs> you your mouth? Yeah, well, like just a peck. Had you kissed a girl at that point? Yeah, but it wasn't. I've never enjoyed it. Ooh, really? You didn't enjoy kissing a girl? Well, the only time I've ever like I went to an all boys school, so then I'd done it like at like nightclubs. Also, like trans, just, some of the trans boys, some there. of the trans boys in the school, and that was fine to. No, nah, st- the straight guys. I only <laughs> the straight guys. Only. Oh, so you, wait, wait, you went to a nightclub. Yeah. And kissed a girl. Yeah, I didn't like it. Why? Because I, I was just trashed. I think I'm like gay or something. I have to like know them. So you're the opposite of Katy Perry. <laughs> Luckily, McAllister kissed a girl and he didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Take, so you need to know a girl before you can enjoy. I a think kiss. so. Yeah. Really? Mm. How'd the kiss go? Oh, it was just like, it was like, so I was fucking trashed. Yeah. It was just like sloppy. I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. Oh, it was your first kiss? Yeah, in a nightclub. Dang. Well, how old were you? I was 18. What nightclub? Um, it was like some, I don't know, it was like some like Cuban one or some shit. Cuban nightclub? I don't know. They were playing Cuban music or some shit. Dang, that's kind of cool. So it was like a South American girl? No, it was like a white girl. White girl? Mm. She did she have any South American in her? Like not when I was, no. Uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> but when I said my name was uh, Hector and I took off my fake moustache, uh, I don't even know. There's something there about uh, she's you know, it. You know, um, Amy was watching a movie the other day. It was like a girl's movie. <coughs> yeah. And um, there was a scene in it where there was like the main girl hooked up with this guy that she liked. And the guy was kind of a douchebag. He was like a wigger yeah. type dude. And they like hooked up and smashed in the bathroom. And he was like, don't worry, I'll protect you. And stuff like that. And she was kind of like... Like the chick in the movie was kind of like... And then he like busted really quick. (laughs) And it's like a trope in girls' movies. Girls love when a guy busts quick. They're like, um, no thanks. Yeah. (laughs) There's something girls love about a guy busting quick. Because it means that the woman is better than them. Mm. If they don't enjoy sex. True, true. Girls love not enjoying sex so that the guy is a douchebag. To humiliate a man. Yeah, but well, I don't get it here. The guy just wins. He just didn't pleasure the woman. And if the guy's kind of happy about it afterwards, that's the he funny just th- wins. Yeah, and yeah. this is like a pinnacle point of the movie mm. where she's kind of like realizing that this life she wanted isn't what she actually wanted. Well, when she's getting cummed inside of a nightclub, <laughs> <and> like, oh. <laughs> she goes, um, did you just come inside me? And then cut scene to her with a plan B out the front of a supermarket. <laughs> and then she like looks across and there's three guys drinking a beer and they all drink it in time. And then she goes... And puts her finger up at them. Oh, this happened in the movie. Yeah. Dang. Why'd she give them the finger? Because it's a girl movie, dude. Girls, are, girls are powerful in <laughs> girl movies. Do you think? Do you and think, in real life, dude. Who do you think comes quick? Like, imagine like you finally get a night with Brad Pitt, and he just comes in like three pumps. <laughs> and goes get out. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're like, Brett Pitt. <laughs> Brett, I thought you got me better than that. Um, but I'm sure that's a huge thing. Like, it, it's, it is so funny. The guy, what is it, premature ejaculation? Yeah, probably like the noises they make as well. Like, uh, <laughs> oh no, okay. And they, yeah, especially, they, I guess, especially after being like, Dude, I'm going to protect you. I'm like, I'm like a man, you know. And, and then, then uh, bam. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's feminine to ejaculate fast. It shows you're not powerful. It shows you're not powerful. Mm. Yeah, you can't control yourself. But there's just something about it, like, yeah, I'm a kick ass. I'm, get, I'm, I'm sick. I'm an awesome girl. What was this movie as well? I have no idea. You got no idea. No. Nah. But you watched the whole thing. No, no. Well, I did, but I was making jokes over the top oh, of the time. <laughs> no, I did. I um, what was I doing? I was doing something, and then um, she was watching it. You weren't watching that movie at all. I think someone else was going on. What else was it? I don't know. It's crazy <coughs> movies that are made for women. Mm. I can't see it appealing to like a straight guy at all. It's crazy, but a girl could sit there and watch like Shutter Island Dang or Fight girls, Club. Girls do that. Girls will watch like the guy stuff. I know. So they are kind of yeah. getting the best of everything. Guys are like, no, this is cool and nothing else is. And girls, no. girls are like, I'm going to listen to Taylor Swift and I'm going to listen to Jay-Z. Do girls actually like it though? Or are they just pretending? I think That's they like thing. it. I think, I think guys have such a big ego mm. and it's important. <laughs> it's part of becoming a man is working out what you don't like. Yes. Yeah, completely. Whereas I don't necessarily think it's important for a woman to decide she doesn't like things. She needs just to like whatever the man likes. Okay, Andrew Tate, let's go. <laughs> no, I'm not saying... I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I'm liking this at all. <laughs> I'm, liking I'm, I'm, I'm liking this a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I am liking Bro, I've been listening to like... I've been listening... Women shouldn't have their own thoughts. They should <laughs> just kind of... A man's role is to say what he likes and doesn't like and a woman just, ha- a woman just has to follow yeah. Bitches don't like movies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying they don't have the brains for it. What I'm saying is that they aren't... I'm able to get my brand new Bugatti and a woman isn't able to do that. <laughs> and there's a reason why, because I'm the big G. Is this what he's saying? I don't know. This is what you're, you seem to be saying. Yeah, this is what, this and what I'm liking saying. it. I'm liking the uh, MRA Jackson. No, I'm just saying... I don't know. Under- Everyone, I'm liking this. <laughs> what I'm saying is... It's almost, there's like a societal pressure yeah. for a guy to, you're, you're soft if you like everything. That's like a feminine trait. Okay. Yeah. Or you're not, yeah, you don't. You should be a little bit hard mentally and arrogant. Or you guys just don't like the movies because they're kind of fucking lame. A lot of the chick, I mean, you don't, yeah. do you like them? Do you like chick movies? No. Can't Why? stand them. Because they're like kind of lame. So maybe just guys in general is like, oh, this is lame. Well, I think no, 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 no. Well, I think it's like more like there's a, um, there's like this kick-ass chick. I can't relate to that plot, but oh, a woman, right, a woman can, right. a woman can watch The Rock jump from a. I don't, know, I don't think building. chicks like like Die Hard and shit like that. I think most of them would be fine with watching it. The only thing girls don't like is South Park, dude. Girls don't like, don't like South Park. Park. That's yeah, it. They like it Family Guy. Gross. They like The Simpsons. It's they hot. Like it's hot as well to watch like a guy like The Rock save the day. It's not hot to watch like this powerful woman like Ally McBeal or someone like that beat the case or win the day or save yeah, the world. Yeah, it's like this is yeah. just silly and unrealistic. <laughs> <laughs> it's like there's always like a part in one of these movies where the chick has to be like, no, fuck off. Like put her finger up at someone yeah. and then she's at home and she's drinking a beer in her apartment by herself. Just being like, I'm just, uh, this is just what I do. Mm. It's like no, you don't. I've never met, I've never met one woman that is like that. I'm liking, I'm liking the, I'm liking the road we're yeah. going down here. <laughs> you like? I'm it? really enjoying it. I'm saying they're yeah, probably yeah. out there, but <laughs> I have never seen. Because it's really funny watching you kind of like go and backtrack, go yeah. and backtrack. And we're kind of way. giving you these looks, like you're saying something that's like what true, is it? true. <laughs> and then we kind of give you a look, and you're like, no, but, but there's a yeah, yeah, we agree with you, and you go, wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I don't want to be an asshole. I don't want to make generalizations. Mm. Um, it is easier to talk in that way. <laughs> it's easy to talk in generalizations, even though I don't necessarily mean that. I'm liking, I'm liking the new Red Pill Jackson. The what? Red Pill Jackson. It's not too late. I have been Red Pill. You know what? I've been listening to Matt and Shane's Old Testament. Oh, dang. 
and they yeah. were naughty boys back then. And you don't like women anymore. I'm seriously listening to probably like seven episodes in a day. What's going on? Men are hating women lately. It's really on the rise. All these YouTubers are kind of coming out <laughs> and is anti women. I think it's and because it's it's I think the, the, the definition of anti women is kind of broad as well. Mm. A lot of women that fucking hate men as well. And yeah, it's just yeah, kind of like course. whatever. But they're not so. I but they're not they're as good so at it. <laughs> they're not. <laughs> they don't have big YouTube I don't get channels mad. about it. I don't get mad when a woman hates guys. I'm like, I understand that. Not even. It's just like whatever, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, Andrew Tate is better at sexism than all women, I think. Oh, he's, yeah, he's... He's really like, yeah, he's good. more entertaining, he is. <laughs> he's really good. <laughs> he is good at it. Yeah, like. I was watching this video on Sneeko. I don't know if you've watched Sneeko, that kind of Eurasian Filipino guy. He's kind of... Oh, I did, yeah, I saw that, yeah, yeah. Yeah, everyone's saying like, or this Patrick CC or whatever his name is, mm. is saying like he's becoming the new Andrew Tate. So there's a, there's a big rise going on right now. Yeah. Of these kind of women hating men. And I'm wondering where it's... I think some guys kind of need it a little bit. You more, think? more in terms of like, just not being dependent on women for your happiness. Right. At least going like, oh, I'll focus on myself for a bit, and then. Is it focusing on yourself? They well, seem I mean, to be a lot of them have a lot of them have the self help on the current. Yeah. So I'm sure that there's a lot of like yeah. young men who are like just obsessed with getting pussy. I need it. I'm fucked oh. up. And then if you just hear that, go, all right, I'll just put women in the back burner for a bit and Damn. focus on myself. I, I think like it's dang. Well, I yeah. like that angle a lot. Well, what's yeah. so nice about that is like from my my. Growing up, friend group and everything like that. So much of that depended on that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Chasing girls, blah, 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 blah. The average guy, the average movie is all about this idea of the young man chasing women. I think it's in response to the feminist <coughs> movement. If there's ever a movement, there's going to be a big pushback in the other direction because it's like I'm flooded with propaganda. I need an outlet. It's weird it's happening now, though. No, it's like, not Like, I feel weird. the feminist movement's really died down. Like, it kind of reached a peak around probably two years of the Trump presidency. And I feel it's all, like, like the hacky cancel culture thing. It's all kind of gone down. Well, so, I don't know why there's a rise. I don't know where this, what they're, what they're up against. Everyone's just kind it's of just a bit It's fun neutral. to hate women, I think. But I think that's, it, it, is, like, it is, like, a fun <laughs> way to talk. Yeah, there's no rivalry. Like, Andrew Tate is having a blast. <laughs> he, he really is. He's having fun with it. <laughs> He's got he, I, mean, I bet you he doesn't believe half the shit. Yeah, but it's, yeah. like, it's just fun to say. I mean, that's the yeah. thing. I don't know if they believe it. They don't have an enemy. Mm. Women aren't really, don't have these platforms and are hating men like that. That probably did happen maybe two, three years ago. Mm. But it's just not happening. So these guys like Andrew Tate are kind of just... Just showing them how it's done. <laughs> yeah. There's no enemy anymore. It's just like we hate women. <laughs> <laughs> the women are like, oh, dang, really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, it was so nice. We raised you. We gave you all the love. I mean, I guess it's my fault. What about now? Uh, uh, what about now when I have cum on my hoodie? Where's the love? <laughs> <laughs> I think... Uh, I haven't I, shaved in three weeks. Why don't you love me? <laughs> um, Unconditional love? Oh, yeah, I got a shower, don't I, you fucking bitch? <laughs> well, that's fair enough. You expect her to shower, right? Yeah, but I'm not doing it. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Yeah, like, have you been like yeah. that in a relationship at all? I've never been in a relationship. You've never been. Oh, we've had some news that you were in a relationship from um someone. I don't. I don't know what. Oh, what's that going on no. There. You weren't. Where no. did that come from? A little birdie told us you were in a relationship, and we basically were like, "Really? Yes." Yeah, well, no, you said it was yes. a bit that you did on stage where you said my ex girlfriend. Oh yeah, yeah. I had a bit about my ex. My ex girlfriend's bi. Yeah. She's buying a gun because she's afraid of me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even. <laughs> it's not even good. It doesn't work. It's the best joke. If, if, if yeah, if you but yeah. people took that seriously. Like, they're lucky as a fucking no. No, one person took it seriously, and then oh, and then was it um, was it a woman? no, 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 whatever, whatever. Yeah, whatever. yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, who took it? Who's talking it. shit? No, one. who's saying I like women? <laughs> who's going around saying that? <laughs> yeah. I don't. I just like kissing my boys. Do you yeah. do you Ironically. actually subscribe to that? Um, <laughs> Well, I think at the time there was that feminist movement and then the, the other side was all this like incel shit and now there's kind of like a more comprehensive, actual applicable way to kind of make your life happy without depending on women or something like that. Like men are... Men are I think the incel stuff got a bit overblown as well. What do you, what do you mean by that? I don't think it was like, that big. Like people talked about it a lot. I think it's just like, yeah, 19-year-old guys just don't like women. Right. I think that's how the majority of them are. Wrong. Well, well no, there was a big. W I guess there was a big wave, and it was kind of unusual. 
Because, like, let's say in the 90s, 80s, there weren't any incels. I guess. I don't know. I think it's just the internet. Like, you can just go, like, oh, this one guy is, like, fucking gone wild on YouTube. Then you can repost that. And it feels like a bigger issue than it is. Right. But there's a... It was just a hot topic for a bit, I think. And the people would just, like, post it about it. You don't think think it really existed? You don't think there was, like, a weird rise in kind of young men... I used to go on the incel subreddits and yeah. a lot of it was... No, sh- no way. <laughs> <laughs> really? I just, no, but I, all of it was like just like guys that. trolling. Oh. A lot of it was that. Is, it, a that troll, was is it, was it literally a troll getting out of hand? And like 50% of the guys are literally trolling and then yeah, 50% probably. are real and yeah. then suddenly you have and it's this also very, group. Yeah, also it's probably very easy for women to be like, oh, these people hate me. And then it's just like you just promote them further. Right. And it's so funny, like, women women hate incels, and incels aren't really... They're not alphas, so they're a really easy target. Yeah. It's like a punching bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, so it really is. It is punching bag. It really out. is. <laughs> and then they're like, I hate Andrew Tate, and he's just got something. Yeah, he's just... He's the <laughs> fucking... Yeah, he's the... What is his angle? Tell me his angle. I was trying to talk about this um, on another pod. Right. It was when you weren't here. I, I had no idea here. what his deal is. It's crazy how much he's blown up. It's actually kind of... Shocking. So, what's his philosophy? Is he trolling? Is he? What's his deal? It's what? Yeah. Let, um, what I don't know. I thoughts? saw him early, like eight like, years ago, on a oh. your mom's house. Yes, of, yes. I but saw I, like him. he was, he is just fucking with her. Yeah, it was he, a, a lot weird, of it. It was he, a weird bit. Yeah, but it's like it's pretty funny, just to, like to be like fucking jacked and be like fuck women, and then just be like like very eloquent and like why he's the dude. Yeah, because he's, he's actually the first time there's a guy who can fight, so he can. He's actually a badass. He's highly intelligent as well. Yeah, he's just he's on his Patrice shit, I think. Yeah. Oh, but I guess he's 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 an actual badass because he can fight people. Because you have someone like Gavin McGuinness, who's like pretty smart, yeah. funny, but he's not really like an alpha male. No. Andrew Tate is probably probably one of the biggest alpha males maybe ever. Because hmm. he can t- he can do everything. There's nothing he can't do. Because he can actually fight someone. It's a scary category when there is that. He's f- handsome as well. And he's handsome. He's intelligent. Highly, highly intelligent. Which I know. Is I think it's scary. just his accent. N- uh, he's, a, <laughs> he's a chess grandmaster. It's scary yeah, when there's when the figurehead for this thing is someone that is like that. It's terrifying. They're not terrifying. They're not a loser. It's a bit terrifying. Yeah, yeah because, because it's like because it's like what's that creating these people who are inherently like biologically attracted to women. And then think they're better than women. Mm. And then it's like a fucked up cycle. Like, what does their life look like? They're just watching porn and then they kind of hate themselves because they're like, Meh, I fucking want to be with a woman. Yep. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. You just uh, my life right now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think he's just entertaining. He's very entertaining. Yeah, I don't think there's like... I don't. I personally don't think it's too deep. I, I, I don't know. I think it is a bit I too mean, deep. I mean, he's selling like courses and shit. Yeah. That's what he wants. It's crazy. He's not, like, he's not trying to start some like movement to kill all women or whatever. He just wants to sell like $200 courses and have a nice TikTok or whatever. But the point being, you've got like Jordan Peterson, who is... A, God. He's a <laughs> <laughs> yeah, praise him, praise, um, praise JP. I, I love the boy, but he's like... Oh, he's not like... He's not funny. Yeah, he's not attractive. He's not attractive. Like talking about these figures, Gavin McGinnis is very attractive. No, not really. He's kind of like weak. Yeah, he, he, he that's the thing. He does have the weakness. That's why I think Andrew Tate's better because he kind of can talk the talk and he's so funny, like legitimately. Oh, but then Andrew Tate's you know what? hilarious. He is kind of like replacing... Remember how they used to be like in the... Oh, sorry, in the 90s and shit, there'd be like some movie star who's like jacked. Yeah. And, like, oh, we all want to be like that guy and who's like very masculine or whatever. That's not really around anymore. Yeah. I guess The Rock. Uh, yeah. The Rock, I guess, yeah. But Brad, The Rock... Brad Pitt. The Rock is but a the Rock bit doesn't of a fuck. He doesn't fuck in any of the movies. Oh, he doesn't. And I don't think he does in real life either. She wouldn't have time. He wouldn't have time. I think The Rock's kind of so much of an alpha male, he legitimately doesn't like women. Yeah. <laughs> Elon Musk <laughs> has time to smash. So The Rock's def- The Rock's got time to smash. I don't think The Rock has any time to smash. What do you think he's doing? I think he's just getting after it. <laughs> <laughs> he's chasing that he's bag. Like, he's like Jocko Willink. They're not yeah. having sex. I think they are. They're not having any sex. They're not sexual entities. What do you, he, does, he, does he have a wife? Yeah, he does. So we'd have to fly her around to fuck her. 
I don't think he is. I don't think he's having sex. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think David Goggins is having sex. I don't think Joe Rogan's having sex. Andrew Tate is having sex. Andrew Tate is having sex. And that's why we like and him. He's having, he's having a lot of it. Yeah. Type in, is the, rife ha- is the Rock having sex? <laughs> that's his wife. I don't think he's yeah, going to Pound wife. Town with her. I really don't think he is. <laughs> the Rock having sex. <laughs> Good. Let's look it up. I don't think The Rock's having sex. He's got a child. There's just yeah, is, there's he, is he religious? Oi, wait, what's going on here? Okay, there's a sex scene with The Rock. It looks wrong. It looks really he's wrong. He's too big. Yeah, he's way too he's big. so much bigger. It's insane. Sex. There he we just go. takes up the whole frame. Who's that? Who's he having sex with there? Someone in a movie. Oh, ballers. Yeah, no one believes it. Do you mm. think that's believable? So, would you say The Rock is almost the perfect man? Yeah, I think the perfect so man doesn't have <laughs> sex. <laughs> <laughs> that's where he beats Andrew Tate. <laughs> The, ro- the, yeah, the perfect cool. man has sex when he's contractually <laughs> obligated to. If The Rock came out and said it's uncool to have sex, I think he could kind of go up against Andrew Tate. Mm. And they're kind of like butt heads. Ooh, what about we get we kind of get to a place where it's not cool for guys to have sex. Because you're pleasuring a woman. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You have to I'm spend not. time with the woman. <laughs> <laughs> you spent half an hour with a woman, you fucking loser. <laughs> Yeah, it's not cool for guys to have sex anymore <laughs> yeah. with yeah. women. Yeah. Yeah, damn. <laughs> it's going to be like strictly glory hole. Like you can't interact with them or talk to them. Oh, but then there's still a woman there. I feel... Because what's happening is... The, you can have uh, sex with guys. <laughs> 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 it's very self-centered to kind of like even break it down like men and women though. Do you know what I mean? Like that's the the... Kind of ego attached to that is ridiculous. Okay, he's going back in the other direction. Here we go. Uh, no, 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 well, go. I'm saying I don't yeah. think women possess that kind of ego in general. Like, they wouldn't even go down that path. And maybe that's why men are so great at, at being sexist and being kind of like that. Like, women being like, oh, yeah, girls are going to do blah, 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 blah. It's like, no one is. I don't know. Yeah, but maybe we don't know because we are guys, so we're not seeing the... What do you think women are doing, exactly? They're well, the same thing, but I don't it think in it's the same way. Well, women, well the same thing. As, I don't think women are as into self-help as much, maybe. Or maybe it's a different style. Oh, yeah, you're right. Do you know what I mean? You're right. Like, a lot of the, like I watched some of it, and a lot of it is like, it's all dude-focused. Well, mm. I read that book, it's like, Women Don't Owe You Pretty, right? And I read that, and it's so like... Because it's like a social obligation to... Andrew Tate's so funny because you can just imagine what he's going to say to that. You do. And what? then, like, he just... Ha- he just <laughs> right, right. You do. But, yeah, yeah. You so have to be pretty. <laughs> so what else do you have? <laughs> 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 Why would I be around you? <laughs> he's great. So, it's like, women don't owe you pretty. Mm. And then I'm reading that because I'm trying to become a better person. So, I'm like, if I understand a woman's <laughs> plight better... Just I'm just, out, I'm just imagining him doing it. It's so funny. Yeah, it's the best. And he it's can't lose. He's on a he's on like a talk show, like a panel. <laughs> yeah. And he would just say that. You can't come back. Yeah. But why can't a woman half, when he has, so much, he has so much he has so much self confidence in oh the way he says God. it and he would and defend it to the death. It's and like, it's funny yeah. as well, which yeah. is so awkward. But why can't a woman do that? What? <laughs> Maybe because women have struggled more. All right. Okay, here we go. Here we Mike go. Jackson, everyone. Have women struggled more? <laughs> you were called. You were called. You were called twenty minutes ago. I don't know what's happening. I don't give Have a fuck. I don't know what's happening. Have women yeah. struggled more than men? Yes or no? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> to be honest with you, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know if they have. I think either. when they when know. they during the time when because they couldn't like do shit for a long time, right? Yeah. But like I was always that was also when like men couldn't do shit either. Like when women couldn't work, there was like three options for men. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like a burden to vote. I don't want to vote. And oh, I forgot about voting. Like to be actually, <laughs> <laughs> voting's not real. I don't believe in voting. Voting, going do out anything. and having a job, going to war, and all that stuff. I guess could that technically be a, a be a burden? It is a burden. Yeah, it's, that's way worse. Going to war or like, oh, you have to hang out with the kids. <laughs> <laughs> what would you rather do? I'd rather hang out with some kids. Yeah. <laughs> would you rather die in the trenches or fucking you know not vote? I like I like how this pod, where this podcast's <laughs> going. I, I, I really do enjoy it. Yeah. I what enjoy I was saying was this book. All right, so there's like an obligation to become. I understand it's a woke thing, but like to understand women's struggles, because I think women understand men's situation a lot better than men understand women's. 
So maybe yeah. like someone like you Andrew Tate, or do you think they do? Actually, I I, I literally throw that 100%. out. One hundred percent. Like just like I said, like when it comes to the movies, like women can enjoy men's media. Men aren't going to enjoy women's media. I think as they're much. enjoying it in a very particular way, though. But I don't the, think they the way know you what enjoy media is different to the way you like live. Yeah, you know, women don't know difference. what it's like to be a man. We don't know what it's like to be a woman. I know what it's like to dress up in women's clothes. Well, we all do, but that's. <laughs> So we're being a woman in this? Gay men are pretty good women. <laughs> <laughs> there we good, go. Gay good. men are pretty good women. Do you know what I mean? How? how, how, how what so way? They get the lingo down. They get the they attitude do. down, the shopping, the cattiness. Gay women. men are better at being women than women. Yeah. <laughs> women. <laughs> they really are. Women love hanging out with yeah. gay men because yeah. it's like, this is the best woman I've yeah. ever met. <laughs> Like this woman is having a lot of sex. This yeah. woman is so catty and funny and smart, mm. so stylish. Gated. She knows how I knows how they should dress and knows how I should dress better than yeah. I could ever gated. imagine. I don't want to. Gay dudes are well, like feminine men. Yeah, really. Yeah. yeah, I'm talking about. I'm not talking about like a like um like a what is it like a bear or a kind of a beefy gay man. I'm talking about like a real ultra feminine catty gay man. I've had like a beef with a gay dude, mm. and. It's so crazy because I have this real problem. All right. So it's like either do you want me to acknowledge, do you want me to treat everyone the same or do you want me to acknowledge that you are okay. different? <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to acknowledge that you are different and I should treat you as such or should I treat you as a man? <laughs> Dang. Okay. He's back, everyone. No, 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 no. No, <laughs> no because the problem, is, back, the problem is this person is very like, rude and da 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 all this stuff and i'm like at the end of the day i don't care i don't care how you're sexually oriented if you want me to treat you like a guy you're being a fuckwit you're being I'm a call <laughs> 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 no you just so well, like i call this you dude, really have a thing in your head where it's like i don't want to be mean to this guy because he's gay i don't have that and that's why i called this dude out and then it like gets to a point where it's like what i tell someone this story and i'm like oh yeah have this beef da 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 break it all down they're like what they said that and i'm like yeah 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 they are gay, dude. They're like, dude. Are you doing? Is you it no pro, no pronouns? What's what's going on here? Is it? They're just a gay dude. They. Well, I haven't told you. Well, maybe did you did you think maybe like you took something as like disrespectful of, or sorry you, sorry no you, no 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 you're right uh, like you took like you uh, took something they said as like disrespectful or whatever it's like oh no he's just gay he just talks different or whatever. It's just a certain I didn't I didn't mean to sound really <laughs> yeah. homophobic. You know no, what no, I mean? No 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 you no. You just no, like no. don't understand. This guy's just being normal. Yeah, well, it literally is that. This guy is like... Jackson, you're looking cold tonight. And I'm not talking about the weather. That dress code is damp. What it's not even man? that. It's just like, am just I... Just a dick? Well, What's his I... name? <laughs> Do yeah. I have to treat you different because of your sexual orientation or can I hold you to the same standard? You decide. Can I hold I'm you fine. the same way? <laughs> this, is, this is an interesting one as well. So you feel... Yeah, I'm like, I'm You're kind of like, I'm not going to talk to you like a straight man. Or I am, am going I going to talk I'm, to you like a straight man? Would you talk to a gay man differently than you would a straight man? Is that well, even a I'm, thing? I'm, that's what I'm... Le- There's been other instances of this. Like, there was someone who... <sighs> We've spoken about it a bunch before. Yeah, you yeah, and yeah. I, 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 know, like, I know the whole background of this. So someone... Like, had said something. How can I phrase this? All right, they said something very damning to their own personality. Right? What they you they they expressed kind of a secret that was damning. Mm. If everyone found this out, they would be like, "No, that person is a, a absolute." Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, and I, then, I kind of got confused. I know what this one. And is. then I'm like yeah. upset about it. Because this one's too complicated. This no, no, no. I got it. I got yeah, it. You think it. you've got it? I, yeah. I was like, I, I have to say something because they're being very rude to me. And then I express this situation to someone else. I'm like, yeah, they said this, da, da, da. And then they were really rude to me. And they're like, why are you fucking sad at a pedophile? Like, why would you let... <laughs> okay, well, now I know who we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, my, my problem is, it's just like treating no, everyone the same. Using, he's just using that as like a... Uh, it's like a thing, like a shield. If you, if you, if we're all on the same level, why do I have to treat you different? If you're going to be a fuckwit, and I understand the other person, the, the second example I gave, that's a mentally ill person, so it's a little bit different. 
Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if someone's off their rocker, you kind of go like, all right. Yeah. Exactly. That's like, where my whole thing is. But when it comes to this dude who is like, it's like, what? Actually, so you're attracted to men, so you get to treat someone like shit. And I've seen them do it to multiple people. And I'm the... I'm like the first person that I know that has called him out on this behavior. Maybe he's just nagging. This is a different person you're talking about. The second you that you bring it back to this, the, the first one now. that I'm talking. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm like, should the rules be different? I don't think they should be. If it got to it, I could be like, dude, I'm gonna punch you in the fucking face <sighs> I don't if know. you say that shit again. Gay men can be catty. I'm sorry, they get the pass. You got to give it back. So you want me to treat them differently? They can be catty. No, do you want me to treat them differently? Them ba- you have to you give them back. You have to give it back to them. I'm not doing no, that. I'm not playing that. You have to understand that gay not- men are going to be catty. <laughs> Specific types of gay men are going to be catty, and you can't take it personally. It's not cattiness. It is. A lot of the time, it's I think this, it's kind of getting confused as cattiness. The same way someone being mentally ill is going to be saying things different. You have to you have to treat different people. So you think being like gay? Is, is so being gay, me, being mentally I'm ill is the same I'm thing. Is that saying, what you're saying? No, I'm just saying. This is a very good episode. I'm worked up. I don't know. Both are a choice. That's I'm what I'm basically <laughs> trying to get at. <laughs> Should you treat them differently? Should you treat... Yes. 100%. No. Nah. If someone's talking... You, well, I don't... And I'm, I'm not trying to generalise all gay people into one box, but I'm saying a certain type of catty gay man can get away with things that it's are... It's not cattiness. Non- that is not the problem. It could probably get misconstrued as like being genuine, but I feel a lot of it can be kind of cattiness or doing the most, I guess being what, over the top. I guess what I'm saying is... It's Someone who's a drama queen. But, but that's not what pisses me off. It's like a specific thing on a human level. You've been very rude to me. <laughs> And then <laughs> you're being very rude to you're me. Being very rude to me. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine him like attacking you about your hairstyle or like what you're wearing. It's so funny. They and couldn't. I'm bulletproof, baby. This is the most fucking minor <laughs> thing. I don't think I'm It's like, what's going on with the socks, Jackson? Is there a flood? <laughs> some gay oh, yeah. guy. Some gay guy had like a really good call Dude. on you, and it's like it's because he's <laughs> fucking gay. I can't do it. <laughs> you just got roasted. <laughs> I have no idea what the situation is. It's kind of hard to. Yeah, Jackson. What's up? It's kind of hard to comment. I don't know what's going on. What's up? The guy. This is so. This is nice and cathartic. Yeah, good one. Good one. Riv made that joke. Riv made that joke. Yeah, Karim did not come up with it. Riv is the gay man in this scenario. <laughs> Ladies um, and gentlemen. Just be on my side here. <laughs> just be on my side here. Well, not be on my side, but don't take it there, man. I have to, kind of. Because I I'm feel... I'm like, I would threaten to punch you if you were gay. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm saying this dude was like yeah. very disrespectful on a human level. Notice I changed the word from rude to disrespectful nice, after that. Yeah. Nice. So he was very disrespectful. I'm like, are we, so what, so that went down and then I saw him at a thing like maybe nine months later. Mm. First time I saw him again, came over and acted like nothing happened. I was like, dude, you pissed me off a lot last time. I understand you were very upset as well. Mm. Let's sit down and talk this out. Mm. And, um, so we sat down on my couch. I turned the lights off <laughs> just so we can get a little bit. <laughs> So, to make um, him comfortable. Let me get so I said, I'll meet you at the front of the club of, in Chicago. And then you get your car and then you no, so drive I in- down the street and run him over. <laughs> this, is, this is breaking news, folks. If anyone's seen the video, that's very funny. Um, I, ran into, I ran into him at this place. I was like, let's sit down, talk this over. And it was very much like using... <laughs> You're like, I'm going to talk to you on a command right now. I just don't get it. Do you I use it as a shield? It. Not being gay is a shield, necessarily, but that you can't act like that as a dude the way he did. The way he did, you couldn't act like that as like a straight guy and then for anyone to kind of take you serious, it's like, that guy's full of shit. But you can just act like he's full of shit. You don't have to... You know what I mean? You can just be like, yeah, fuck that guy. I don't like him. I don't, but my problem was I want to kind of like... The reason I wanted to sit down and have this conversation was so I could get to a place of mutual respect. Let's calm this back down. Let's both apologize or some mm. shit. Would and you have done that if it was straight? Yes. Mm. More so. That's why I did that. Because I was just like, again, it shouldn't matter. This is what I would do with someone. I'd just try and squash this thing so I can move on. Because what's the situation? I see him again and I'm just like, oh, I hate this guy. Because yeah. I don't want to... I don't actually hate him. I don't want to hate anyone. 
but I'm like, I. It could have been squash, but it can't be because he won't. Um, meet me on a human level, and I think it would be easier if he was not such a drama queen. If he was like a straight guy, because the <laughs> playing field would be even. I think he's just being a bit of a drama queen. <laughs> you keep saying that. <laughs> I do because I, I know the scenario is as well. Like this is I have no idea what the scenario yeah, is at and, all. And either do probably like a lot of the listeners. But I well, guess no one would. Why yeah, no one. No yeah, one would. This is. I don't yeah. even know what's going it's on. A it was me and Karim. <laughs> <laughs> I was just being catty. <laughs> this guy's a bit of a drama queen. At the end of the day, like in terms of. Not going to take confrontation. Not going to take being wrong easily. He left gonna... and cried after the second that's time. And I was movie. like, yes. <laughs> yes. That's a weak fucking It made me feel yeah. so good. I'm like, that's the equivalent. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. You're going after a vulnerable gay man and people with mental illnesses. And that's another really problem. really enjoying the He's wins. not vulnerable. He's very... Someone who's running off crying is pretty vulnerable. He's powerful. They're a weak fuck, bitch. Dude. You're yeah. a weak bitch if yeah. you go around crying. If you're gonna run, no, no, off no. Crying, I was talking. I was talking to like one of his best friends. They're like, I never, I've never seen that. I've never seen anyone do that. Mm. He's tearing up when he was talking to me and said, "All right, fuck, <laughs> you're gonna find this hilarious." Actually, <laughs> he was like, "Stop using that word against me, Jackson." No, he That's said, a "Bad history." <laughs> Stop screaming! <laughs> it. Stop screaming! It. He said, "I said some shit like you have no backbone, you have no spine, you have no <laughs> self-respect." <laughs> yeah, something yeah. like that. No one's ever gonna respect you unless you can fucking. Own up for your mistakes. Some sh- this is pretty intense, Dan. Yeah, this is very intense. I'm sorry. We'll back this off is this. Pretty subject. feminine we'll behavior. This is going on a podcast. <laughs> like, uh, this guy was mean to me. <laughs> well, my point. Uh, fuck. No, I'm, just, fuck, right, I'm so, just fucking with you. Yeah, yeah. We, so are, we, are, we both are. I said some shit, and he got like a little bit upset, and was like, "You sound like my boyfriend." <laughs> 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 because that's the only person that's close enough that they would have had like. A big fight. And oh, the, the fact he called you gay you really. <laughs> you. <laughs> You're like everything else is fine. You can call me anything. But don't call That's me too far. Too far. You just held on to him for nine months. <laughs> 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 we need to sort this out. <laughs> I'm not your boyfriend, and I couldn't possibly be because I'm not a. Um, I'm not a. F- <laughs> um. No, it's, so it's yeah, I said some shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said some shit. It really struck I'm a nerve. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, go ahead, Jackson. Oh, well, I yeah. said some shit. Mm. Sorry, we can back off this, all right? We'll move on. But no, no, go. I said some shit, and he said he was hurt by it and was like, You sound like my boyfriend. <laughs> Is that really the, the thing that hurt you? No. Oh, no, it wasn't. Okay. No, no, no. That's when I saw the, the, thi- <laughs> the, the, the th- thing in his armor. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. That's when I like saw that and I was just like And in the meantime you're pissed off because you're like, no, I want to kind of close this thing. You're not making that possible. Uh yeah. So at the end of the day, I guess my whole problem is can I treat this guy like a any other guy? How I would treat them? Well it sounds like you don't like this guy. <laughs> no, I fucking don't like this guy. Mm. But what happens next? I see him again. Yeah, like a normal. Like He's like a snake. You know what I mean? You're meant to cut a fucking snake's head off or be like, no, we're like fine. We're both fine. Just ignore it, man. Who gives a fuck? I can't do that. Yeah, yeah that's it, a problem. You need to learn how to do that. And this is where yeah. I there's, almost, like, there's people I fucking just do not like and mm. they're in my life and you just kind of gotta. Yeah, and yeah, they those people are called women, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Well, it is, it is typically a higher percentage. I want. <laughs> really? Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. Um, um, <laughs> you having a bad? You having, you having a few no, no, like I, with women? No, I mean, like I, I remember I was working at McDonald's. I had like, I got along with everyone except this one fucking cunt that was my manager. Oh dang, a lesbian? Woman. No, 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 straight woman. She just sucked. Dang. And you just like I don't know. I mean, just it sucks to just try and limit your um time with them. Just don't really talk with them. Yeah. You and I guess in a work you scenario, you're kind of forced, which is a bit different. Like I guess yeah, but if he's in your friendship group, you can't kind of really ignore him. Jackson, so it's you, almost, you can't mm, be going around yeah. like needing everyone to like you. They don't need to like me, but there just needs to be some level settle, of settle, un- settle this understanding. Thing. We have to understand on some level. It's like, I'm going to put up this facade and bullshit around you. You know what? Actually, like, um, all right. You so, have to bullshit. You can just like act like, oh yeah, I don't like you. Well, that's a thing. Like he probably doesn't like me. Yeah. So you. Can but why just... is he acting like this? 
why can't he just be like, no, I don't like this person? Well, you're also because you're trying to fucking make amends. He doesn't like you. You don't like him, but you're like trying to like fix it. I do. I liked him before that. I did like him before that. All right, I'm gonna. I'm I gonna, bet you did. I'm I gonna, bet. I bet you did. <laughs> now, let's just say I was his bo- ex boyfriend. I'm gonna give you an example. There's another comic. Yeah. You were there the other night after the roast battle, after Ooh. we both won. Oh, dang. I wouldn't. I wouldn't call either of those wins. Um, I oh, would. Oh, really? I, did, I, did, I don't know anything about your yeah. one as well. You both did the roast, and I know what <laughs> you're about to say next as well. I'm kind of keen for it. Oh yeah. All right. Is, we'll get back into the roast. One. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I do um, want to make sure we touch on this because it's interesting. You have beeps. You're, yeah, you're, you're funny, a beefy guy, funny. and I like it. I like Who it. I like your beeps. Um, this this be- this one's gonna be really. I don't know. How no, you were there. You were there. Don't say the name, but it's a comedian. <laughs> Do you remember we were on the balcony? Crashed. We're on the balcony. Um, but oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, friend of a friend. Was it a comic? Yeah. yeah. I don't if you could call him that. Him? I don't even know why I said that. Was it a guy? Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember. Ah, well, having yeah. something in your armor. Can you um? Can you write it on no. my phone? Yeah, I'll write it here. Yeah, write but it here. If you write something very funny, ah, oh, no. <coughs> you were there for like when we. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I don't, I don't, we had this we had this weird kind of thing going on forever. I mean, Karim's kind of involved in it too, I guess. Yes. So. Just treating us. We're going. We're going on a bit of a beef train tonight, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. And I'm kind of liking it. I am liking it. It's very I'm cathartic. Kind of like it. It's it is good. very cathartic. And also, after we do this one, I want you to let off some more of your beefs, Lachlan. Just okay. kind of yeah, working I've out. A, on I've pod. settled one. I you think. You have settled one. Kind of, but I want to. I want to hear about yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Let's hear about this one. <clears throat> so I did exactly the same approach with this guy, and I had no idea you two had beef. Yeah. No, it's not proper beef. It's, it's pretty, just, it's it's just pretty a weird problem. Mm. The other one isn't really a beef. It's just a weird problem where it could get solved. This one can get solved. He he listened to what I had to say. He had some shit to say too. And I respect this person more coming out of it. Mm. And we understand each other more so we can cohabitate. Yeah. So, What yeah. was the issue? Just being... Disrespectful. Yes. And not even not even disrespectful, maybe just a a weird kind of like why you like this. What's your like deal? dismissive? Um, dismissive. Uh, I guess it's maybe it's a, it's a disrespect. It's more of a why you can't kind of see the human side. You can't see the personal side of this mm. person. Like this kind of this guy has a has a guard up. <laughs> and yeah, I have, no, I have no problem with Henry. <laughs> yeah, well, Henry, yeah. yeah, he's got it. Um, well, I mean, this is a news. This Sorry, is a I news to I him. No, we won't. We won't. I like. We put the name. He's not out gonna there. listen to this. I kind of like. He's not gonna. He's definitely not gonna listen to this. He doesn't like hacks. Well, this um, is a news to him. And I, I did say even before you said his name, like I came out of that respecting him more, understanding him more, mm. and I hope it's the same for me. And he was apologetic. I was apologetic. We said we said the name Henry. If anyone wants to go listen back, we can kind of you can get a little bit of context. Oh, was it from the podcast? No, no. I guess, I guess a bit. I no, it was know. before the podcast. Yeah, it's before. Yeah, damn, this is the lamest shit ever. Fucking Sydney comedian. Oh, it is. I know. It really is. It really. And I almost want to get off it and get uh, into let's your get into beef. your fucking McDonald's yeah. beef. <laughs> oh, I hate my manager. No, no. There was a, there was a comic in Sydney when I first started. Yeah. And uh, I was doing, you know. I was sorry, doing your my, mic, bro. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I was doing my bullshit, mm. and then. Basically, there's like, <laughs> this is going to sound bad, but there's like a woman's like... Uh, <laughs> Here we go. I know where this one's heading, folks. I think I know where this one's heading, I think. There's like a woman's like a uh, safe space type of thing. <laughs> yeah. and, and he goes... And then I brought a gun in there. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, by so gun, I, I made my penis. Out, so. uh, it was exposed. And then I shot all these women and you're like, uh, I guess it's not so safe. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he goes in there. Yeah. And he's like, oh, hey, Lachlan's like dangerous to women. Don't hang around them. And then who was that? Who was that guy telling the truth? The doctor of truth. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I know. that was that was a funnier that was yeah. a funnier thing to say. The uh, yeah, God, <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Tate, someone who actually knows yeah, the truth. Yeah, Lock yeah. Anyway, so women. so while he's doing that, he's like acting like my friend and shit. Oh, which is like like I talk. Who is this? Do you want to do you want to drop a name? No, nah, not really. Can I? Because I just I can't can just leave. Type it. it out, please. Can you type yeah, it out? Yeah, sure. Um. Do you know this guy? No. no. No, but I don't know why Adam would say something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, no, it's not Adam. No, yeah. I, don't, I don't know that guy. 
Yeah, I was just, I was really. It's angry. funny we have similar. Be- yeah. The beefs are coming from a specific uh, uh, oh, okay. uh, group. <laughs> it's yeah. good. This is what people want to hear, passion. Yeah, yeah they want to hear about hear Sydney passion. comedy beef. Yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I, like, I threatened to rape him at a crown. And, <laughs> 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 and uh, I don't know, I met him a couple of weeks ago, and it's just like, I don't know, just whatever. He said that He said that in front of the girls. He said that he kind of like warned everyone in that scene. He went on a Facebook group and went, this guy's dangerous to women. Had you done anything to make him believe that? Well, that's the thing. He was like still acting like buddy buddy with me. So it's like if you believe that, I hadn't done anything. I was just like on stage. Was it your act? Probably talking yeah. about how like your your girlfriend needs to buy a gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What's Can we his, move on? What's his angle? He's <laughs> trying <know>. to. <laughs> was he trying to get in with these? There's no reason for doing what he did. Well, I, I already understand. I already wasn't liked by women. Believe it or not. <laughs> I don't know. I think uh, I have. I have no idea. I can't talk to his intentions. But uh, yeah, no, I didn't have a good. Uh, weren't liked by women in the comedy scene. Yeah. Right. So you have an issue with women in the comedy scene. They have an issue with me. They have an issue with you. <laughs> right. I want to go into this a little bit. Yeah, sure. What do you think it is? Is it kind of the jokes about you being dangerous, or kind of the potentially? I don't like this either, the man, because anytime jokes. anyone asks me my favorite comedian, I say, Lockwood yeah, I, I, yeah. I want to say this right now. You are the greatest comedian. You're the city. boy. Yeah, you're okay. You're the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's throwing it back. That's what I like. I want you to throw it back. Lockwood no, did MC the other night, and afterwards, we're out the back. You're the I dude. Walk, I walked up to him, and I was like, yeah, you fucking killed it, dude. Mm. You're, you're the funniest guy in Sydney. Yes, 100%. And he tried to fight me. <laughs> he hates it. <laughs> Uh, he doesn't like it. Usually the funniest people will always say that. Oh, yeah, you and your fucking da-da-da-da. Yeah. No, I just, I don't believe anyone when they say it. I think, I get I get it filtered through, like, no, they're just saying that, and then, yeah. You, we, we talk w- about we you. We literally wouldn't just say we it. We talk we, about I don't think you, we've dude. said it to anyone. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah, I think you're both very funny. I wish you both did it more. Oh, dang. Are we going to get Thanks, a bit, man. are yeah. we going to get a bit teary and come in for a bit of a hug soon? I don't know. Do you want to go for a hug? We're Not getting really. quite, we're getting quite worked up and emotional. Yeah, yeah. Because I always say this is getting very feminine. We're just bitching about people. We I know, and we're just gonna start like making out soon. But I always say, yeah, if Lachlan McAllister makes it, everything's all right in comedy. Yeah, we're yes. going. The world's going in the right direction. Makes it as in like a like an successful. IED. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, but I yeah I always say that if you become successful, comedy's going in the right direction. If you don't make it, it's going in the wrong direction, and the world as well. I, w- I would disagree with that. Uh, really? Yeah. Why would you disagree? It's not funny. There's like heaps of people. With uh, okay. Yeah. So you. you I mean, I, I sit there. I watch. I go to like shows where I watch people who are like fucking ten times better than me. I I've, I haven't seen anyone f- naturally funnier than you. Because you go to Crown. I've and been going to Crown. I've been going to Crown like probably one of the second longest. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. I just uh, there's a spark. You have that that it factor. Yes. You've got the star quality. You've actually got that. And I've never seen it anywhere. Okay. I've never seen it any... Like, I'm talking about any Sydney comedian. Who do you hate, Karim? Who do I hate? I guess we, we talked about uh, probably the same. Mm. Yeah. Who Have you called anyone out? Have I called... Do, you wanna, do I want to call anyone out? Have <sighs> you called anyone out? Have I called anyone out in the comedy scene? Um, Just anyone, anyone. Anyone in general. Anyone. Have I called anyone out in general? Um... I really nothing actually comes to mind in terms of beef. We could get into the roast battle and circle back if you want to. Yeah, if I, I I can sit and think about if I have any beefs. Probably that person, but it's not that serious. Like usually with the beef, I'll just ignore someone. Yeah, you can't. Have or just it. not respect someone. Mm. That's kind of where I am with the beef. Yeah, you're you've got this obsession with like clearing the air. You just have to leave it. Yeah, I I love it. Leaving it might, it, it, might just it like works. It yeah. works. And like it, eventually, it will, it will sort of clear itself out, and you'll probably end up talking to him in a more natural sense instead of being like, we need to sit down and figure this out when he probably just doesn't want to. I didn't need to. Di- All right, what? <laughs> I, I have no <laughs> idea about the situation. <laughs> Again, I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, we have to. We kind of have to get off it. We kind of have to because yeah. we are uh, over an hour and I do want to get into some nice things. Uh, yeah. But I know Jackson is so frothing what? to jump into. Yeah, but whatever. <laughs> We've, we've milked that <laughs> horse. I can tell you kind of... It's, it's He's going red. Uh, yeah, you're going a bit red. You're on edge and you want... Yeah. I, I don't know. Let's talk about something else. Yeah, we have to talk about something else. Yeah, so else. the roast battle. The roast Lock, battle. Lachlan versus battle. Mark McIsaac. Yes, how did that one go? That was a real wasted opportunity on my end, I think. What do you mean by that? I think someone who was... Someone could have really fucking got him. And Ooh. I just kind of phoned it in, I think. Oh, right. Also, I had a joke, which I'm pretty sure... I had no idea... 
it was like Despicable Me Too, and I feel like I've heard that somewhere, but I just used it because I had no jokes. Do you want to ring some of them off? Is that normal or I can't remember them really. You actually can't. Re- do you, any any that kind of come to mind? I haven't I haven't heard the battle. I'm Mark Mick. I'm gay. Yeah, I thought that would hit. <laughs> it, oh, did, it did. It did. That. People loved it. No one liked it. No one up the front liked it. It was a uh, yeah. I saw That's the judges. kind of hilarious. I saw the judges just fucking groan. <laughs> That's kind of perfect. Yeah. That's kind of perfect. Yeah. Any any other ones come to mind? I, I'm actually very keen to hear some of them. Um. Well, there was a. I see. I don't want to. There's a there's a comic and there's a story that he would uh he would only do crowd once every two weeks. Actually, I don't want to get into this. I don't want to. Yeah. Oh wait, wait, this is beef. No, no, no. This was the. Jo- I don't want to actually. It's all good. Why? Because I would just say, I had like a personal story about Mark. I don't want to say it on a podcast. Oh, uh, it's not like he didn't do anything bad the, or part anything. Part of the it's joke. Yeah. Yeah, but he just was, let's say, a little bit unsafe around some women. No, no, not at all. I think the only... <laughs> okay. The only <laughs> I, get, I get I catch you drift. No, no, Jay, I catch you drift. I think the only thing... Mark's a sweetheart. The only place that you faulted in your whole thing, because the whole thing was hilarious, was just references people didn't get. Oh, and that's what this... this I think the joke wasn't good itself as well. Yeah, I mean, it was tricky. You should have won, and you did won- win. <coughs> and it was sick to watch. It was my favorite of the night. Yours was my favorite. Oh. Mine was nasty. Yeah. That was a... You could have really gotten, like, shook there, but you had like you, you stayed on. <laughs> How could I have gotten shook? What do you shook? mean? How could he be gotten Because after he's doing that, you can just be like, what the fuck do I do here? And you just, like, went into it. I thought it was good. Well, I did feel awkward. All right, so basically... This fucking fat retard. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, let's, let's ring it off. Let's what's ring it what's off this guy's bit. name? Does he have a TikTok? Yeah, he does have a TikTok. Is it oh, big? we don't have to get into that yeah, either. Yeah, yeah. Let's we just call him out. Let's call him You call suck. Him out. Let's <laughs> call Why would we out? call him out? Let's dude. call him out. Because then you get all his TikTok followers to listen to your oh, podcast. Are you fucking we can start re- are you dumb? a little bit of a podcast beef. Yeah. We do show people how the sausage is made. What's his name? I don't know. Is it George? No, I don't know. What's it? Is it Tony? Tony. Tony Rame. Some. Ram? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, Tony Rahm. We're calling you out. Sorry. So we do have to be a little bit real from time to time. Tony Rahm, we're calling you out. Very nice There's guy. Being a hack. But he's an actor. Yeah. And I was talking to Gavin about it. Or like Gavin brought it up and said that um, it's hard for actors to do comedy because the actor's whole thing is you don't break character for anything. Right? Uh, so yeah. that's where it got into a weird space where a comedian would be bouncing off the whatever's real, going the on, real stuff, yeah. Whatever's going on around him, where he's he's acting out a scene. So basically, he wrote like a song and played the harmonica, yeah, for his first joke. And on that, as he was doing that, I just like looked out into the audience, like, "This man is dangerous to women. This is weird." I was like, yeah. "This is weird. This isn't." Um, yeah, I kind of felt, I, I felt like he didn't know what was like what it actually was. I told him oh, before, oh, unless he I was just going for a really specific angle, and he thought it was going to hit. I think he just thought yeah. it was a different show. Really? Yeah. Had, yeah, he hadn't done a roast battle before. It seemed like he knew what was going on in the back end. Mm. And that's where kind of when I watched it, I watched it on the phone, I wasn't there. I was kind of surprised. I was like, is he kind of doing this? Like you watch James O'Connell, just doing a real Sydney comedy kind of <laughs> night. You watch James O'Connell and he does this altern- alternative approach to roasting and it works so well because he has his bit and he just commits to it. And it's like, I'm not going to roast. I'm just going to tell the truth about this person. Mm. And it's so funny because it's like, I'm doing this different bit. Yeah. And I thought that Tony was doing something like that. Like, I'm going to kind of sing my jokes. I know what a normal roast is and I'm going to kind of go around that and sing them. It just didn't Could work. Have, and it just, it just didn't, didn't work. work. They yeah. hated it. Yeah. But it was still a good show. I mean, I think people still enjoyed it. Like, mm. people were still laughing. And Here we go. If a female comedian did that, do you think it would be a different battle? No, it would be just as weird, dude. Really? No, I don't think I don't think the audience... I think it would have been real. It would have been a lot more awkward, I think. If a female comedian did I've, that. I've noticed, like, crowds are less like... Like, I've never seen a crowd turn against a woman. It just gets, like... They just get quiet and it's yeah. awkward and sad. And you'd probably have to be like, oh, no, this is kind of cool. She's singing. Mm. I well, hate this hipster dude that's on stage. <laughs> we were talking about it recently, like, ha- yeah, how you can kind of get away with murder for for being. Oh yeah, was this what we we're talking about today? Yeah, yeah. Like, well, I was literally talking to Jackson today how I can kind of get away with murder on stage. Yeah, I can. I can. <laughs> but you use it. I like it. It's very. I'm jealous. It's. I don't know. I don't even know how to feel about it. Yeah. Where I know I can kind of say anything. Mm. 
and people won't say anything because it's anti-black to call me out. Yeah, it's I was. I'm, I'm, I love it. I love watching. It. I'm rehashing this. You really thing. you put him like you fuck you you stretch it even being black. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to stretch yeah. it because yeah. I want someone to call me out because it's racist. It's actually racist to not say anything. Yeah, like I use the analogy today of like black people don't have to wear masks <laughs> and never have to wear masks during COVID yeah. in America. Mm. Because it's racist to tell a black person what to and do. And their lips are just... <laughs> <laughs> and it, can't, it also can't fit over our mouths. And it and also interrupts when we're trying to <laughs> scream in the movie theatre. <laughs> we can't get the words out correctly. Yeah. And we also can't catcall women as well. You yeah. can. With a mask? Oh, it's probably better. Yeah, yeah. I can imagine you doing a lot of that stuff. <laughs> that's, so, that's right up just your alley. Like, <laughs> just from a crowd. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, I can kind of get away with murder, and I know you. And you do, they do. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and yeah, also, yeah, speaking, of not even on stage. <laughs> I'm talking about yeah. you. <laughs> you do have uh, the bit where you're like, I'm on all the dating apps. Oh yeah. Can yeah. I give this away? Yeah, yeah give the, give the bit away. <laughs> well, you do it. You do the bit. You do it now. If you think you can do it funnier than me, go on. I don't. Go on, go Jackson. On. Go do, on Jackson. Do his jokes. Well, Steal I don't. His jokes. I don't Steal think my jokes. I already have been. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I literally do the bit. I, uh, I don't. Um, I'm on all the dating apps, Bumble, Grinder, whatever, which is already funny because it's like, all right, this is going to be some weird gay joke. Yeah. And then it's like, um, uh, I'm happy to date anyone just as long as they're not Muslim. <laughs> just as long as they're not a Muslim. And what's so great about that is how divisive it is for people. Mm. But can I go further down this? Yeah, yeah, literally. Ex- I, I, have no, I don't hold anything close. And this is why I love this because... The first time I saw you do that was at Sticks and Stones. Oh, yes, yes. And um, Sticks and Stones is a room where there are judges on the stage who critique you on your jokes as you go. Basically, the audience is allowed to shout out, anything goes in this room. And you did that joke and it really made people upset. And what was so great about this was the judge who was up there, what did he say? Do you remember? He was like, what do you mean? And you're like, oh, I don't like Muslims. Oh, yeah. He said, yeah, what do you, yeah. I think it was something, yeah, what do you mean about that? And I yeah. think, yeah, I think I said I don't like Muslims. <laughs> and what's so it's gra- such a funny thing to double down on. It's, 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 a, gra- it's a nice one. It's and a what's nice one. so great about this is Karim didn't say it in that moment. And I'm very petty like that and probably self-conscious, so I would have. But you, your, like your, your dad's Islamic, right? I'm, my name is Abdul Karim Diallo. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually, yeah, I really, I really respect that you didn't say it. That I you, know. That you were, I actually, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I would hate, I would hate, to, uh, hate that sort of angle. Mm. I'm a big fan of you should be able to kind of say whatever you want. Folks, yeah. you should, yeah, this is a new take. But it's you easy for you. You want. It's well, easy for it you is. to be like that, you know? Yeah. You try, say, you try saying the N-word on the bus, yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, well, what, yeah, I mean, what's so great about it is you weren't like, no, I have this experience, therefore mm. I should be able to mm. say mm. it. Yeah. Regardless of yeah, whether or not... Yeah, it's just a silly not, joke. Yeah, I say know. a lot of stuff that I shouldn't be able to say. Yeah. I, oh, well, I like to go after minority groups. I find it very... I, I'm doing it we very... All do. I, we, <laughs> we all do. Um, I find it very funny because it's kind of ironic. I find racism very funny in an ironic way. It's a funny thing to like actually believe. It's such a funny... And that's the thing. Like When I say these jokes, it's, it's making fun of the idea. <laughs> yeah. It's such a funny concept and i think that can get lost in a lot of people Mm. but that's my whole yeah i'm taking it from a lot of other comedians but i'm making fun of racism which is hilarious by being racist which is also fun it's a fun it's a fun it's a fun thing to do on stage fun thing to do on stage it really is yeah yeah there's a big difference between saying a thing and believing a thing i think that's the crux of that's the difference between like me and lachlan McAllister. yeah because i'll i'll say these funny things i mean (laughs) i really don't like it though (laughs) <laughs> Doubly now. <laughs> yeah, and that's that's the thing. This is why I do think you're the funniest comedian in Sydney because because I'm actually racist. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually racist. I'm just trying to figure out a way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy's because you have you have the same idea of what I want to do, but you do it in a, just a funnier way and in like a, just a natural. I think you're way. much better at being racist on stage than me because <sighs> you've only ever seen me a crown. I've tried being racist at other places; it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> they don't like it. Isn't this guy? They take it very who's seriously. Your, who's your favorite comedian? Oh, Lachlan McAllister. Isn't he that racist guy who's who's dangerous to women? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he is. 
He's not Muslim though. That's why he's so funny. You want to know what's so funny about him? No, no, no. Yeah, he's racist and 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 dangerous to women, but he's doing it ironically. And you want to know what's so funny about him? It's not ironic. <laughs> <laughs> it's post-ironic. You're pret- I'm pretending to be ironic. Yeah, me and Jackson Stewart had a good conversation about um um irony. Oh, you did. I haven't heard about this. Yeah, irony. It's a real Sydney comic heavy episode. Jackson Stewart, as well as another comic, we hopefully will have on the podca- podcast soon. Mm. Next week, I think. Next week. Yeah, wow. um, I'm very excited. What's it called? Like, stay tuned. It's like irony poisoning or something like that. He was saying. Mm. Mm. He's very interesting. Like we're as a comic. I love him. We're at a point now yeah. where the mirror has kind of turned on itself. Like parody is like this mirror, this distorted mirror facing this thing back, and it's now like just two mirrors lined up, just rebounding off each other, and it just gets more and more distorted. Yeah. Mm. Where, yeah, it may as well be. Reality, the way we communicate is so drenched in irony. Yeah, it may as well be real. Yes, which is beautiful. It's the funniest thing in the world. But it's yeah. yeah. I mean, it's very interesting. What's what's the funny? What's the term? It's like sincerity or something like that, or that sort of comic, or like that internet angle where they're like being very sincere. I think that's kind of the next stage, and that's kind of where we're we're in, like with. Like Andrew Tate. It's like so far down that rabbit hole that this person... Yeah, it actually just becomes real. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's like Gavin Guinness and now I am actually have a group called the Proud Boys and we, <laughs> we've kind of kept this thing going. Yeah. But I, I don't know. I think there should be room for people that are like sincere, like are sincere in their beliefs that you don't like at all. I think it still should be like... you should. Uh, yeah. If Andrew Tate is legit, he should still be allowed to... Talk hundred percent, and yeah. that's the thing. I see, I see a lot of comedians who just have like pretty messed up ideas on stage, and they're kind of not being funny with it. They just have like a certain thing they're wanting to get across. <coughs> um, Jackson, <laughs> <coughs> I'm not going to laugh at it, but I can kind of be like, oh yeah, you go go ahead. It's a bit interesting. You feel that way, but I respect you to be on stage. Mm. Like I think I always mentioned there was because uh, there's, there's certain jokes that I don't do as well. I'm I'm a big lefty at the end of the day. That's where it's always fun. But I think it was a comic doing jokes about Indigenous people in a weird way that kind of wasn't funny enough to warrant it. Mm. Also, that's like a group I don't make jokes about. Do you guys uh, remember... We saw Shane Gillis as well recently. Yes. And Did you um, go? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah we we yeah. had a conversation afterwards. I was sorry. I've yeah, been yeah, drinking you were. so I much. Know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, we, we had know. a big I don't night remember anything about Henry I at all. I, I, I have a problem. Um, well, I want to get into that as well a little bit. I want to get into that. So, <coughs> yeah, but Shane had that great joke. So he's an American comedian. Yeah. And he... W- I d- do you guys remember the setup? He was like talking about... He said something very blasé kind mm. of about um, Native Americans or something like that. Yeah. Getting wiped out over there. Mm. And the audience is like laughing. And he's mm. like, oh yeah, you want to laugh at that? I heard what you guys did over here. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. it was just yeah. like brilliant. Like, yeah. it's such a great joke in how that's not, not touching on... He danced on around, because I think when, whenever someone, like, will do, like, something making fun of Aboriginal people on stage, there is a bit of, like, I guess what people would probably feel when you're talking, where it's just like, okay, where's this guy going? Because this guy yeah. might actually not like him. Yes, it's yeah. Pretty, it's people here that don't like him. Mm. So, But he danced around it by, like, he just made the connection between the two, but he did the one that we're comfortable with first. Yes. And then, flip, yeah, I don't know. What was the sec? Did he do another one? I don't. No, nah, I think it's such an uncomfortable one. topic. I don't always want to. Yeah, talk it about is. It. It's uncomfortable here. People don't want to talk about. Yeah, it. Yeah, people don't. And it's funny because, like, even myself, I don't want to talk about it. And yeah. it's like there's a part of me that's like I do want to talk about it because I, I feel mean, like everyone should be kind of equal. But you're pro- I, like you probably should. Like they did get fucking. You're living somewhere where they got genocided. Yeah. And then just like oh, we don't we don't bring that up because it's a bit too real and it's yeah. a group like. I, I'm gonna go, it I'm wasn't gonna go that long it. ago. I'm as gonna well. go into it. Like there's a lot of other groups that are doing okay. When I talk about when I make Indian jokes, Asian jokes, black jokes, Jews are doing real well. Jewish, yeah, these groups are doing fine. Yeah, I can joke about them. <laughs> Indigenous people in Australia are not doing fine. Yeah, so it's yeah. legitimately punching down. Yeah, that's maybe, where it's yeah. kind of really awkward for me. Where it's like. I find it's tricky when someone's going to do a joke about Indigenous people because this is a group that's struggling. 
really struggling in a very complex way. Mm-hmm. And it's such a it's a, such a tricky kind of thing to approach. Yeah, and to be honest with you, I don't really know a lot of Aboriginal people as well. You're not going to go into the school you went to? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, yeah, we, I just, we I stay don't. away from them. <laughs> we no, away. Yeah, I, just, I don't, and so it's like yeah, weird yeah. if I'm like, you know, I know Indian yeah. people. I can make fun of them for being smelly and having dot heads and whatever. <laughs> but like, <laughs> I know how to. I've talked to them. I know how to. What they like is what they find funny and shit. And yeah, you know, but you you haven't really. Um, no, I you don't have any indigenous friends. No, really, well, I have a lot. I have a lot. And really? I find, yeah, yeah. And that's, I still find it really hard. I think because you meet like a, an average Indigenous person, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of pain there. There's a lot of trauma there that's fresh and right there. Yeah, when, so when was the Stolen Generation? That was like 50s. Yeah, like... I actually don't know. Like, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't no, know. No, it's just you blown out your vape. Oh, yeah, that does that sound very... <laughs> sorry. You know what I mean, but it's what like... like the 50s? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's like that was... <laughs> Like, if you're Aboriginal, that was, like, your granddad. I think it was... not that long ago at all. I think it was, like, the 80s or the 90s where there were, like, flora and fauna. They weren't people. I don't think it was the 90s. Yeah, it was. It was something crazy. Really? Fuck, yeah. It's something crazy. Like, it's so fresh. It is so fresh. What is it? And it's here. Yeah, it was like, like, where it, was you like are. it was like Kevin Rudd that apologized <laughs> <laughs> in 2008. Oh, it's like, oh yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Which is a it very like, sorry. In 2008, we apologized. Yeah, it's got to be insulting. Like it's <laughs> it's pretty insane. It's 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 a difficult thing to do mm. because it's the first step in like a massive thing. You know yeah. what I mean? Like you're kind of so. Say you had a birthday cake in the fridge, you were saving, all right, yeah. and then like three people ate it. Yeah. The biggest asshole is the person that says, oh man, by the way, we ate your cake. Oh, They're like, oh, I was really looking yeah. forward to eating that. The first person to say it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So it, that's a hard thing for someone to do. And it's yeah, and the cake is genocide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And eating yeah. it is doing it. <laughs> yeah. Eating it is doing it. <laughs> and I guess, yeah, whoever, whoever, oh, I don't know. Everyone loved it. Was, was it Kevin Rudd? I think. Because John remember. Howard wouldn't do it. Yeah, John Howard. And that's and was he know. after John Howard? Yeah, he was right after John right. Howard. Yeah. So he must have been the first. And it was literally like 2008 where he's like, mm. yeah, okay, fine. I'm going to be that guy. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to be that guy. I'm going to be that guy. Sorry. Yeah. What can we do? What can, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what like can we that. do? What can we seriously... What can we do about this situation? Probably make a fun of, make a make a good bit about Aboriginal people. Make a good... And that's <laughs> what I constantly think. Like there's something really beautiful about comedy in a way because it exposes something very real it exposes real issues mm. <laughs> <laughs> what I don't, I don't know why you're smiling and giving me a look oh because everyone kind of i got a joke but i agree with you it's terrible oh, you do yeah i can't i'm not because people say. always talk about like the hannah gatsby thing or like comedians should be doing this 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 and this and people i know they're not should be doing dick jokes it doesn't matter i feel there is i kind of agree with her i'm like comedians do have this place where they can kind of they're the thinking man they're the people out there that are kind of like letting people know what's happening in the world well yeah like she did something (coughs) different like say what you want about it she did a a different like style or whatever yeah it wasn't good but (laughs) i actually i haven't even i haven't even watched i haven't even watched the special but just that idea of like comedians do have a lot of power if someone was to do a really good indigenous joke it could kind of start making a little bit of progress well i think yeah there's dane simpson is in an, uh, I've watched his stuff. He's real funny. Who's he? Aboriginal comic. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, I don't know. There is because I know uh, I saw a Dan Algerton Aboriginal joke that was also pretty funny. Was he the was the first guy? Was he the one at Raw or was it Raw? The one on ABC. The the gay one. No. No, that wasn't him. No. I think he. I think he. Um, he hosted one of them. I think. I'm not sure. Right. But he had a good joke. No, he like does all Aboriginal jokes. And they're pretty oh, good. What are they? I don't remember. Really? I have a bad memory. They're not in English. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine to say, right? Yeah. So even fine. like talking about it, it does know, f- it does feel kind of weird. Yeah. And I want I want I want to kind of sit in the weirdness a little bit. When I was a kid, I watched. <laughs> there was a show called What's in the Box, and, and it was an Indigenous person, and in an ep- they kept it there. It kept the person there, and then there were. I don't even you know. Put on something, the um, can we put on the <laughs> light? Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. As. When I was a kid, there was this show and there was like an indigenous woman on there and they were talking about like indigenous culture and whatever. Yeah. Talking about fishing and they were talking about like playing the didgeridoo. And Mm. I thought my dad was Aboriginal because he's a fisherman and he has like very olive skin. 
like yeah. dark skin and he has a didgeridoo that he yes. can play. So this is my, this is really walking on coals right now. Yeah. It's it's a very I had no idea. You know, apparently you're not allowed to play it. <laughs> women, really? I don't think women women. Are I don't think to. white guys can play it. I don't think white guys. My dad can play the hell out. <laughs> <of it. laughs> but then again, <laughs> <laughs> but then again, he is he is yeah. he is indigenous. So something no, about like, like yeah, he's like the Eminem. He just does it way better than any indigenous person. <laughs> just like imagine that, just some white guys just killing it. <laughs> like what, everyone's like, what? We've never even you could do that with yeah. it. He's like, what am I you? Just the Eminem of the yeah. <laughs> It is a sick instrument. No, it's when I was so, cool. so so I would have been like four, and then I held on to that belief until I was like. Uh, probably like halfway through primary school. So you thought you were indigenous, or you didn't put the? I didn't. I didn't even understood. That's how genealogy kind of. Ah, oh, okay. Yep, yep. I was just like. So your dad is an uh, is an indigenous person. You're thinking. No, no I thought. Yeah, you're in primary school. Well, thinking well, this. it's like oh, just, this like that. This group of people does X, Y, Z, and I'm like, my dad does all that. Yeah. So, he he must be right. I didn't really think anything because when you're a kid, you don't understand yeah. ethnicity, yeah. unless you've got. Parents who are very informative about that. I had no outlet. Kids don't learn about that. Mm. Also, they can't really wrap their heads around that probably as well. It's a pretty fucking big concept. Yeah, and it's like where... Like where four-year-old. Yeah, and where where are Indigenous Australians from? Australia. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. My, um, makes sense. My yeah. dad's from Canberra. <laughs> my, my, uh, my uncle... Um, claimed that he was indigenous. He's like an English guy with red hair, <laughs> like a red, red dreadlocks. And he like said he was indigenous. I think his partner was like an eighth. And then he claims so it, it now. It carries over? I, I don't know. He kind of like did all the ceremonies or whatever. And he kind of went out of his way to try to make out that he's indigenous. Let's keep talking about it. Can we make, an in, can we make jokes about them? Can we make jokes about that group of people? Yeah. If you can make jokes about every, but I guess well, it's more—it's more just like what the audience thinks. Yeah. Because like they're gonna be uncomfortable, especially if you're like a white guy. They're like, so he's indigenous, you know? You gotta like. Well, we're uncomfortable, and we have three of the most outspoken yes. kind of people yeah. I've seen on a stage. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to figure it out. Like I, I think I it's said a good the M word to you. <laughs> <laughs> I know you During did. I heard. I heard. <laughs> when? <laughs> During after the Shane Gillis thing, I remember in yeah. the car. You told me. The local legend. He said it was you the told funniest him? thing. Ever. What the fuck, dude? Oh yeah, you said you were cool. No, you said the Louis C.K. bit. You were cool. Yeah. Yeah, but I was, no, I was, that's what I said. I said you. I say the M word, but it's like oh, I, I don't know what I'm doing. How did I paint that story? You said he did the Louis C.K. But why would I even bit. tell you that? I said it was the funniest thing in the world. Yeah, you said it was the fun, and I was like, "How did it all go?" And you said it was the funniest thing ever. Yeah, and Henry Zoo was laughing the most, and then he kind of went in a weird direction with it and kind of became unfunny, but kept on saying it. I didn't say that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know. We were in a weird area. Yeah, we're we in are. a very weird yeah. area, and I don't know Just what we're to do. We're totally out of our depth. We have no idea what we're talking about literally, at all. Literally, literally, yeah. I feel like I'm. Well, that's what I feel we like do. I'm underwater, and I kind of like it. That's what we do in the Sausage Boys. I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, can you make in, can you make jokes about Indigenous people? Is it punching down? It's a group that's struggling. I guess there's no way to really joke then, unless you are Indigenous yourself. Is mm. that probably the answer? Well, then you could say that about Black people. No, you can't. Black people are doing fine. You said it. <laughs> I will, I will yeah, say yeah. it. They're doing literally, they're literally doing fine. They're getting fines. <laughs> <laughs> and they're not paying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, every group... Yeah, okay, I like it. <laughs> 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 that was a little bit... Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, there's something kind of true about black people are fine. Literally. They're dominating mm. the entertainment industry. There's a whole bunch of black billionaires... Obama became president for eight years. You sound like my dad. Eric, really, what do you mean? <laughs> They're fine. Don't worry. You can say it. I, I, <laughs> I agree. I agree with your dad, though. Yeah. Black people are doing fine. I don't think Indigenous people are doing fine in Australia. I don't think. No, I don't think. I don't think Native American people are doing fine in America. Mm, I don't. I don't, I don't know, know too much about yeah. this, and I like talking about things I don't understand. Yeah, really. I do have to topics. kind of let people know that. Yeah. I did hear a very interesting thing today about like... This is um, all getting cut. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm, I'm literally thinking about <laughs> yeah. cutting what? or bleeping some of this. I don't know. No, it's none of this is... It's all fine. Yeah, We're no. trying to have the conversation. It is, almost, it is it's uncomfortable. Yeah. It's almost like why I want to keep talking about it just to kind of get my point across or just kind of... I don't even understand what's the problem with what we're talking about. It's such a tricky yeah, no. issue. Yeah, it is. It's just a... But what are we? What are we saying that's wrong? I don't know. Trying to make jokes about indigenous people. We haven't made one. I don't know. I tried to. <laughs> <laughs> did you? I'm sorry, I did. I don't know. I feel. I feel. Weird I feel like about you're it. you're more allowed to because you're black. I know. Yeah. yeah. I could say I'm indigenous. You could. I could. 
But we're like demeanors with this. We're like a we're like a reverse handicap. You know what I mean? What do you mean? Yeah, it doesn't. Sa- whatever we say, it doesn't sound good. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're yeah. Right, you're Being right. next to us saying this <laughs> yeah, is like yeah. I, don't, I don't know. And even even myself, I feel funny about saying it because I I mentioned like earlier, even getting into this, that I don't make jokes about indigenous people on stage. But what what was even the, I missed the joke that you said? Or oh, something that funny box one, like watching a show with oh, yeah. in well, the that box. Was, that was pretty. I'm sorry, I, ha- I have to make a joke. I yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not funny. It's not. It's not personal. Yeah, it's not personal. It's not even a funny joke. But I just was like, there's a setup just for the, a joke the to dots be here. Connected, like, but yeah. Yeah. Here's the problem with doing that. As soon as you draw... Dots Connected. What are we talking about in Indigenous artwork? Um, how about the... Uh, see, I'm trying to make jokes. I'm trying to make a joke. There's a funny joke there. Yeah, because yeah. it's all the yeah, dots. Yeah, it's all the yeah. dots. And tr- they saw an Indian person one time. And they're kind of... I'm. This is workshopping <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. here. This is workshopping here. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess the problem is like... Maybe go- this goes back to not just letting disagreements be, right? Yeah. But... If you draw a line anywhere, you have to respect the fact that other people draw lines somewhere. Yeah. And I mean, some shit is distasteful and it's like, oh, that's not quite right. But I mean, you're trying. You're trying to make a joke. Yeah, I think it's a little bit better on a podcast compared to being on stage because I can kind of, let's say, make a joke and then I can speak about it afterwards and be like, hey, here are my, here are my real thoughts, mm. by the way. I'm trying to make this joke. I'm not comfortable. I feel really, I feel a lot for this group and I, I don't really know what to do. Can I make a joke? Is it okay? Yeah. I, I let you, I kind of, the reasons why I wouldn't is because I feel that this group is struggling. Yes. Is that bad to feel that way? Would it be better to make the joke and just, it goes back into the same idea like, well, can I treat that group just like any other group? Yeah, because it is kind of disrespectful if you're like... Omitting it. If you're like, oh, you need to treat them with kitty gloves. Literally. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. how I hate... That's why I hate that Pete, no one calls me out in my um, jokes, but they'll call you out on stage. Because yeah. I find it's racist to say, oh, black people can do this. Maybe they're just afraid of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, no, no, we know he's black. I would have got yeah, up in a yeah, second. He's fucking, but he's terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> he's six foot five um, and jacked. I'm not going to fucking say anything. He's black. Uh, <laughs> 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 what about the, what about the answer? He goes, yeah, he's black. I'm terrified. <laughs> <laughs> Don't they rape women? <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'm not going to tell him to put a mask on. He's probably going to my daughter next you know yeah. what i do feel a lot more comfortable saying racist shit around karim i like it i like it I, I feel it is weird when you're just sitting over with white people <laughs> and you're like, mm. i feel comfortable yeah. with you saying racist stuff yeah also i will say i don't say slurs i do yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's where you, you and i differ yeah yeah local and McAllister does i like to have a conversation about slurs all the time i don't really know where i stand i insinuate slurs all the time mm. is that just as bad it is kind of it's just thing. a word, and I don't. Yeah, I don't really know how to feel. We're going very long, but this. Yeah, is, we should. We will wrap it's it. Such in a, a it's such a good Fuck, topic. It's oh, this is this has been Dang. my favorite episode, honestly, to be a part of. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I'm yeah, I really fun. enjoying this one, and I had this silly bit about talking about this 40 year old virgin. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I don't even want to do it because I feel it. this is a little bit more important. Um, I feel I don't even think we can get into that because we've uh, gone we, so we deep. We should literally wrap in a minute. Yeah. But, but um, um, yeah, yeah, you go into the idea of slurs. You go into the idea of like, can white people say the N word? They'd be like, oh well, I did. Lots of the did in the car. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I was just quoting a white guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I don't want to have a conversation. I always want to have a conversation. Also, if there are any indigenous people that are listening to this, I can even probably. I don't even know. Um, yeah, I want to have. You did stop that one real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Turn this off. No, it's on. Yeah, I was thinking if I had any friends, indigenous friends, that wanted to come on the podcast, I probably could. I probably could, but it's tricky when like my friends aren't comedians. Yeah. I have friends of certain groups that I don't, I don't tell jokes to because I feel they're not going to understand where I'm coming from. They don't un- have like the comedian's mind. Yeah, women. I don't hit a little bit too yeah. hard. <laughs> that hit a little bit too hard. Um, it's tricky. It's very tricky. It is tricky. It's, it's very tricky. It's I know. I say a lot of stuff on stage that I would never say to certain friends that I have. 
Yeah, of course. Certain Jewish friends, certain Asian friends, because they're just going to be like, what do you mean? Mm. What, why would you say that? Yeah, it's the whole like colleague thing. Like, oh, mm. you do a podcast? What's it called? Yeah. It's like, you don't... <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry about it. Yeah, just <laughs> <laughs> I really can't tell many people because it takes a certain type of person, person, thinking person... Even my brother's pretty open-minded and I don't think he agrees. I don't even know if he'd want to listen. It might be age as well. It might be age. I don't... I really don't know. But anyway. He's, he's younger than me. He doesn't kind of agree with a lot of stuff. Yeah. What doesn't he agree with? Just everything. He doesn't agree with my angle of comedy. He thinks it's just kind of offensive and a bit cheap. I agree. <laughs> 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 uh, we are. We're gonna have to wrap no, on is, that. We're gonna, I'm we're doing that. It's purposeful, though. That's the thing. Um, we're cl- we're closing. This we have to close this one. Yeah, close I almost don't want to leave. I'm kind of like I'm the kids' party. Oh, I could do this all mm. night. If I it know, I could literally, it's literally ten o'clock. We've done a later one today, mm. but um, but uh, we'll get into this conversation another time uh, as well. Uh, the South Coast Post Child, the Terry Cruz of Sydney. Terry Cruz of Sydney, folks. The funniest man in Australia. Funniest man in Australia. This is the one. Me? Oh, thank you. This is the man. This is the man to look out for everyone. Uh, signing off. Look right. out, women. <laughs> <laughs> right. Until next time. Thanks Peace. for coming on, bro. Thanks, man. I had a yep. lot of fun.